Cheers. You're not videotaping me, that's against the law. Is it? I love the quarantine life. I've had more fun at home I've had in the past couple weeks than I think I ever have. I love it. It's like, do we have to go anywhere tonight? Nope, we can't. So that's right up my alley. I don't like going anywhere. I don't like doing anything. It's been fun. It's time to get some huge headway on this table today. It's been a great week. Let's keep going with it. Today's a fun little tip. Uh, if you're cross-cutting a table, always do your uh, end grain first. And a lot of times your outsides are still rough, like nothing square. This table could be flared out six inches for all I know. Uh, so you have you can't square. You can't square off the side because that's not the same. Square off one of your joints. You know those are square. That's what you want to be square with. Uh, so a lot of times I'll even put a put a little mark there. Put a mark there move your track to mark so that way you're square with every board showing a little showing a little skin with the v-neck today KFC, KFC radio podcast. I listen to it all day long. It's all I listen to. Shit cracks me up. So just like epoxy in the legs, the most susceptible part to this table, the most, just like the table legs, the most susceptible, hmm, just like the table legs, the most subs. So just like the table legs, the most subs oh my god just like the table legs the ingrain is going to soak up the most moisture uh so no different than the ingrain on this table once i put that breadboard in there's gonna be no way of finishing it and i'm finishing this top with a rubio finish uh but just to protect i have this on hand now i got some teak oil i'm gonna rub down uh, all the tenons all the ingrain just to help prevent a little bit of moisture problems gluing up and sanding and joining like fast 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 and then breadboard ends literally take forever even the easy way this is even a little bit harder than just sho shoving some dominoes in there uh takes a little bit more time but still you just gotta slow down you gotta be precise it's kind of hard to switch it's hard for me to downshift um but that's what we're doing almost almost finished with the first one. <clears throat> I have no idea if this is gonna work. No clue. I mean, I literally took two seconds making this little thing, but we shall see. Sawdust in my Gatorade. This is sponsored by Gatorade. quick YouTube video on how to make these and mine's pretty ghetto. I just drilled my size hole and then two little holes on the side for relief, did a little filing. Worked out great. Cut your size, a little bit big, 45 the edges, 
run the son of a bitch through. <laughs> what more could you possibly want? I never, I never drink beer at the shop. Uh, very seldomly, I'll, I kept a 30 pack in the fridge since I've been in here a year ago. Uh, and I, I'm beat, my legs are beat. Today's not so much hard work, but it's just a lot of tedious standing around. And I, I was just, I wanna go home. But I know if I don't get these breadboards glued up tonight, uh, I'm gonna wait for them to dry tomorrow. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go grab one of those beers and I'm gonna sit down and drink it for 20 minutes. Get a second wind. Reach in and grab it. I took it home yesterday. Last night when I left, I grabbed the 30 pack because I knew I was out at home and didn't feel like stopping. It's the story of my life. But I had a 12 pack sitting outside the door, so waiting for it to, to become cold. <laughs> Trying to push forward, get these last two breadboard ends on, but I'm, I'm toast. I'm exhausted. You know, I, I can plane, I can mill material all day long and still have plenty left in the tank. Not today, my legs are beat. It's more from just standing in one spot for way too long. I got a bunch of computer work I need to go catch up on at home, but I'm gonna sit here and drink this beer and then just kind of reflect on my day uh tomorrow's gonna be a big day gonna get this thing get this thing set up together and really get a good look at it so see you in the vlog uh thanks for watching Please subscribe you you if you made it this far ah uh, don't you don't you go you won't, that's just rude that's just rude subscribe jesus see ya Week, three out of 10. That one just didn't hook up.